What's the most legendary thing that happened in your school? Story 1. We have a school news channel that sometimes does live segments about new stuff going on. This was every morning in my homeroom. One morning, they are doing a walkthrough of the new part of the school just built. They walk into a staircase and some girl is sitting in some kid's face on the floor. This is at 8 a.m. and the entire school saw it. Story 2. Some dude in English class sat next to the electrical outlet, so he decided to grab the kid next to him and stick a piece of metal into the outlet. Shocked the heck out of both of them. They were both fairly okay, but almost scared the teacher to death. Also, there was a time a girl did it with two dudes in the auditorium during a basketball game, and it was caught on the school camera. Her family ended up sending her somewhere else after that. My middle school was built on a hill and the tallest building in the area. During Fleet Week, the Blue Angels flew what must have been 100 to 200 feet above it, shattered like 30 windows on the top floor of my school. Story 4. A student locked his teacher and classmates in a room after setting it on fire. It wasn't a very good school. Death. The ultimate prank. I'm not sure you want to classify attempted mass murder as legendary. I think maybe you misunderstood the assignment, OP. Or did I misunderstand, and this thread is just going to make me sad. Ugh. Story 5. A guy from my high school thought it would be a great idea to streak through the halls on the last day of school. After running around buck butt naked, people who witnessed it began whispering about some guy streaking. Pretty soon the entire school was talking about this unknown mystery guy who ran around with his dong out. Biology teacher witnessed it and said, maybe it's just chilly today, but he isn't very well endowed. Soon after, he went to the front office and turned himself in. He apparently walked into a room full of administrators, all women, and just said, it was me. They all busted out laughing and said, just don't do it again, okay? When I did that, I ended up body-checking a girl that didn't get out of my way and getting yelled at by the RCMP. Still totally worth it. Hey folks watching this, just so you know from what I've heard, these days a streaking stunt can get you put on an S offender list, if I'm not mistaken. Just a warning for you all. Don't get any ideas. Story 6. When I was in grade 9, I was sitting in the computer lab working during the communications class. All of a sudden, we heard this loud revving getting louder and louder, something passing by very quickly and then fading away. Our teacher ran out of the room after it, and crike, I had no idea the man could move that quickly. I was in crutches due to a sports injury, so I had to hobble up behind the rest of the class as we tried to find out what was going on. Apparently, one of the seniors brought an ATV to school and drove through the halls. What was legendary was that he somehow was never caught. Story 7. This happened at my school in the UK around 2002. We had an indoor swimming pool at my school that was always really cold, and one particularly freezing December day, a bunch of us decided that we really didn't fancy having to do swimming for PE. So we dared this kid called Todd, who was pretty crazy, to crap in the pool. He said he would do it for 10 pounds. We had a quick whip round and managed to get the money pretty quick between us. To avoid getting caught, he decided to crap into the pool from the roof through a skylight. A lot of the buildings in our school had staircases on the outside, so it didn't take much effort for a couple of us to give him a leg up onto the roof. Once he was up there, we ran back to the pool and looked through the window. Sure enough, after a couple of minutes, we saw two or three of Todd's butt apples drop into the perfectly still pool, causing a gentle, disgusting, but oddly beautiful ripple. There was no P.E. for us that day. My favorite due to the visuals. Story 8. There's a tradition here in Australia that the year 12's final year of high school usually have a day called muck-up day, where they play pranks or whatever in the school. Well, one year the year 12's decided to frick with the whole school and placed roadwork signs and cones on one of the main roads next to the school. They diverted all that traffic through the school, essentially fricking up a lot of people's day. It's the best thing anyone has done on muck-up day at our school. Dang nice. Our school cracked down on it, so since we had an assembly that day, we set all our phone alarms to go off simultaneously during it. Pretty tame. I had a relative go there ages ago. They painted the religious statues as clowns and TP'd the disciplinarian's car. I do love a good harmless prank. Frankly, I'm giving my gold star to painting religious statues as clowns, but I'm a godless heathen. Story 9. We used to have school sports on a Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon, and all of them required people to change into their sport uniform, all except one. Ten-pin bowling because of this. Ten-pin bowling was very popular among people who couldn't be bothered getting changed. 
One day when I was in year eight, a guy in my year bet another kid $10 that he wouldn't take a crap on the bathroom floor of the bowling alley. So naturally, the kid, who is pretty stupid, agrees with the bet and promptly shoots on the bathroom floor. Pretty soon after that, it became obvious who took the crap on the floor, and both the guy who offered the money and the guy who took the crap both got into a lot of trouble. The saddest part about this story is that he never even got the $10. Wait, I'm confused about how not having a uniform for 10-pin bowling has anything to do with pooping on the floor. Story 10. I attended a high school called Rampart that, despite being a blue-ribbon school, had serious budget issues. The budget problems got so bad that the principal started renting out the school gym to anyone willing to pay to use it. Some guy rented the gym out for a Saturday night saying he was going to hold a church dance. Instead, he held a rave that got so out of hand, it destroyed the gym. The incident quickly grew into legend amongst the students. Many claim to have been there or to have known the guy who threw the rave. We weren't able to use the gym for the rest of the year. They kept the doors locked, but there were constant attempts to force them open so we could see the damage. It didn't take long for the students to start referring to the school as Rave Part, and whenever we had to sing the national anthem would finish it, and the home of the rave. The next year we had a new principal too, but we never knew if the old principal was fired because of the rave incident. The real secret? Maybe it was the principal who threw the rave. I have nothing to back that up, but I do desperately want it to be true for some reason. Story 11. Two teachers doing it in an empty class. They thought they had locked the door. A student caught them. They were both fired. My high school had the basketball coach getting caught having intercourse with the girl's dean in the senior rec room. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 12. There was a huge, naughty texting scandal where a handful of girls' images were being sent around. Well, when the school caught wind of it, they did the only thing a school could do. They held an assembly. Girls in the auditorium and boys in the gym. After an hour or so of, you shouldn't do that, they had the district attorney come in to talk about the legality of underage naughty texting. One of the seniors stood up and asked him if it was legal if they were over 18. He said yes, and the entire place went nuts. Everyone was cheering, clapping, and laughing. The principal walked over to the mic and said, Who asked that? The guy stood up again and triumphantly said, Zen Master Steve! The audience once again erupted into cheers as he got called into the principal's office. Good on the attorney for being straightforward and honest with them. Story 13. I watched a friend sneeze and hit their head off a desk so hard they gave himself a concussion. Story 14. At the school where I used to teach, the students told me that years ago someone swapped the science teacher's Bill Nye video with a hardcore adult entertainment tape. According to legend, the teacher didn't notice for quite a while, and the students watched several minutes of smut that day. I told my class that it was a stupid rumor, and I'm sure that never happened. When the class was over, one of my students walked up and said, Mr. Hi-Fi Low Class? It's true. My brother was the one who switched the tape. Frick. Story 15. Went to a boarding school. So, several adult entertainment tapes and photos got leaked. This was 2004 to 2006, so before iPhones and whatnot. This mainly happened due to a program called MyTunes, where you could share your iTunes and move libraries on the network, so people would accidentally drop their videos slash photos into folders that were shared without realizing it. And people bored looking for new music or whatever would stumble upon it. Once the administrator found out about a video and the student was 18, allegedly he had to watch the video with the president of the school in his office in order to determine that it didn't happen on campus and that both participants were of age. Didn't get in trouble at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the excuse that he had to watch the video sounds like a load of BS. I need to watch this video, yes. Need to watch it quite a few times for uh, legal reasons. Story 16. My junior year, the seniors put hay everywhere inside the freaking English building, where it basically looked like a farm. One of the admins wasn't even letting people look at the mess inside. Also, when I was in second grade, my school was supposed to have a fire drill, so for some reason the alarm wasn't going off. The lunch ladies decided it would be a good idea to set something in the kitchen on fire to make the alarm go off. They burned a good majority of the lunch that was supposed to be served that day. Story 17. My high school was a bit on the sketchy side. One, during my sophomore year, there was a fire, and despite all the fire drills we'd been doing since kindergarten, no one really knew what to do. 
Some students made their way ten blocks away to a Wendy's and a Waldbaum's, where they proceeded to rob both. Two. At the end of my junior year, the sophomore threw his freshman girlfriend through a display case. She ended up with 13 stitches, and he got a lovely pair of handcuffs. Some students made their way ten blocks away to a Wendy's and a Waldbaum's, where they proceeded to rob both. Well, that took a turn I wasn't expecting. Story 18. My school was featured on Tosh.0 at one point. It was the video where the teacher broke up a fight between two girls by body-checking her into the ground. Story 19. Jeff jumped off the roof of the chapel into a dumpster filled with empty cardboard boxes. 50-foot drop, 8x8 eight eight dumpster. Welcome to Jack A. Story 20. Our school has a huge statue of a Mustang at the front because our mascot is a Mustang. It's about 40 feet up above the entryway so everyone sees it when they came in. One morning, there was a bright pink dildo on it because Mustangs are male and our huge statue was neutered. It took them a while to get it off of there because they didn't want to ruin the statue or leave any pieces of the evidence behind and it was too heavy to remove from its place. So there it stayed with a banner hung across the entryway blocking the statue. Nobody knew who did it except for the masterminds of the crime. Took him a while to get it off. I fully expect every senior class every year to affix a new, different style of dildo onto the statue. Every year. That is the kind of senior prank that needs to be preserved, damn it. Story 21. My first day of high school. I was starting at a whole new neighborhood from moving and knew no one, so I kept to myself. I didn't handle crowds all too well, but I mustered the courage to get out of bed and get ready for school. I ran downstairs and talked to my dad about what I expected to get out of the day and ate breakfast. I walked out to the corner to catch the school bus, and that was awful. Nowhere to sit as everyone felt they each had their own dang seat. Story short, I made it to school. As soon as we made it to the school, I started walking to my locker. There were so many people I was about to lose my mind, and I asked myself if I could get any worse. It did. A girl bumped me from behind to get ahead to catch up with someone. In one swift action, she ripped off her backpack and unzipped it to pull out a kitchen knife to stab the girl directly in front of me right in the back. I froze. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. I turned around and walked straight home. I lived about ten miles away. I just kept walking. I never looked back. I just wanted to make it home, crawl upstairs, and sleep in. Story 22. One hot day in June, when I was in 6th or 7th grade, there was basically a riot at our school. Pretty much every kid in the school at lunch recess gathered at the office entrance to the school and started chanting, It's too hot! We want to go home! It was pretty incredible. A teacher at one point came out and said, We're calling the police to no avail. Finally, the bell rang and everyone cheered and went inside. No one I've talked to remembers this event. Should have turned the hose against them. A student accidentally butt-dialed his mother while the class was watching Platoon. The SWAT team showed up. I wish my school got to watch Platoon. I had to watch it on my own time. Story 24. Seems like every couple of months you practice fire drills, and one day the alarm goes off. We start making our way down the stairwell, and there is smoke. I get outside and say to somebody, Wow, they make these fire drills so realistic, smoke and everything. The reply I got back was, The school really is on fire. So yeah, my school caught on fire. That was legendary. I'm not the brightest tool in the shed. Well, I guess that's what the random drills are for. If you don't know the school is actually on fire, you'll leave in an orderly fashion. Oh my gosh, is that smoke? Wow, they're really upping the production value of these drills. Whoa, look, they even made fake fire. Wow, look at that. It actually almost feels like I'm really on fire. Oh my god! Story 25. Kid gets yelled at, runs out of school into the woods. Helicopters come and search for hours for the kid. School goes on lockdown. SWAT team finds him a mile away eating Snickers in the woods. Comes back next week like nothing happened. I saw the whole thing out the window. Very crazy. Happened last month. Story 26. For five consecutive Halloweens in a row, someone managed to set off a smoke bomb in one of the stairwells, causing the school to have to be let out early. They do it just after lunch, after most everyone had just entered their first afternoon class. It was amazing. Like, frick yeah, getting to go home two hours early on Halloween. Story 27. A massive Roman candle fight involving about 50 kids in the middle of the field on Halloween night. Story 27. They filmed parts of Ferris Bueller's Day Off there. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.